What's up, Rose? Johnny here from John's Motorsports. In the middle of doing the uh, Cook's header install on this SRTA Jeep supercharged. Um, as you can see here, remove the bolts here on the subframe. I've supported the subframe here properly. <clears throat> Brought the car down, um, the motor and the trans down about maybe three or four inches so we can get to these headers. See, there's really, really no clearance. Um, what you want to do here is you want to make sure you get the bolts up on top there. You want to get all those bolts on top off first, okay, from the top. And then you'll have access as you bring it down to get to these bottom bolts here, as you can see there. What you also want to do is you want to remove the, uh, you can see right there, you remove the uh, inner fender wells. And you're able to get them, if you guys can see that, you can get to them from here. So that you get those bolts off. It's not an easy install. This is not, you know, for the novice. You need a lift, you need a good uh, tranny jack. Um, me here, I'm just supporting the back of the truck too to make sure everything is done. Um, we're doing the uh, Cook's headers, bore like exhaust with uh, the mid pipes here. Uh, you have to get this drive shaft off also. The main drive, the drive shaft that's coming here, that needs to come off as well. These bolts are number eight right here. Um, what else can I tell you guys? The, these bolts here, when you remove them, you gotta be careful because there's a lot of water and shit that comes in here. And take your eyes out with the impact when you pull it out. You have to be careful there. So this is where we're at as far as uh, this install on this truck. Um, I'm gonna undo all the bolts now, get everything done, get everything off. And then as you can see, we have a use set here from another truck. That's what we're putting on. And then uh, we're gonna retune for the uh, for the new setup, the new exhaust setup. All right, so uh, there you go. Down here, um, this side's off. As you can see here, we've dropped the, uh, the subframe down here. As you can see, I think there's somebody else on YouTube did this and uh, talking about moving this or undoing this. In this case, we don't have to. The header fits right in, okay? Next point here is to put the four bolts on the bottom, get the gasket in, get the, the header in, and you're good. That's the passenger side.